What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Avengers Age of Ultron movie action figure review on the Bandai Tamashi Nation's SH Figure Arts Mark 45 Iron Man. I am very excited to have this figure, I have been wanting this one for quite some time, the Mark 45 armor being my new favorite armor. Anyway, we got some nice gold right over here, we got some gold and red, and I like the gold for the Avengers A, some more Avengers A and gold right over here, and on the side you can see the figure, and on the back you can see back style, molding, movable option parts, my favorite one of these is being the back style. I love back style. Anyway, on the side we get Iron Man again. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Mark 45 Iron Man out of the packaging up here on a flight stand, which he does not come with. A very cool figure. I am very, very happy with this. I just think it's a very cool looking armor. I just like this sleek design. We have some very nice metallic red and gold throughout on this thing. It comes with some cool accessories. I love the articulation. The height, I wish all these SH figures could just be a little bit taller, but I do have a couple of little gripes that I will mention throughout this review, but for the most part, I am super stoked about having this figure. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the accessories, then we'll take a closer look at Mark 45. So the figure comes with eight interchangeable hands, then we get six different effects right there. I wish these had some blue right there for the repulsor blasts. That would have been pretty cool. But aside from that, I think it's a really cool, nice red metallic paint, and we get some nice gold on these too. So you get the two fisted hands right there, you get the relaxed palm hands, which I really like a lot, you get these flat hands, which are okay, and then you also get the repulsor blast shooting hands right here where it has a peg sticking out and then you get two different sets of repulsor blast effects and you can just plug it in like that and I like this a lot where it has this nice frosty white over the translucent orange and then you get this longer one that has a little bit more of a blast right there a little bit more frosty white and then you can just plug that one right in there and then these right here are for his boots and you can just plug them right into those hole pegs so you get that going on right over there this one has a little bit of white on it and then there's like this weird line going across one of these yeah this one has some extra extra paint right over there. There's just tiny imperfections. So you're just looking at Iron Man's head sculpt, you know, the design for this doesn't look too different from some of the other armors that we've seen, but it's really the rest of the armor that really stands out to me, you know, but it still has that sleek look. I really like this vibrant red paint. I will have to say though that the red paint isn't consistent throughout the entire figure. I really like the eyes though, the metallic blue right there for the eyes looks really, really good and we have some nice etched out detail throughout his mask and faceplate and the helmet. Just looks pretty awesome throughout, man. Really happy with this. Nice detail on the neck. Uh, the neck paint is a little bit brighter than the rest of the figure. It's kind of hard to see that, but it, it's, yeah, it's just a little bit less red paint over here. Very minor detail, and I will say that I see a big old gap right there, and that bothers me a little bit. So, that's a little gripe of mine, especially when you get him looking all the way up. You can see that big gap right there. Even looking downward, you know, you can still see the gap. So, a little irritating, but, you know, I just have to mention it. And I also feel like the arc reactor here is just a little bit smaller than I expected it to be. I don't know. But looking at it through the viewfinder right over here, it doesn't look too bad at all. And then looking at these shoulder pads, these are really cool. And I just like how the arms are designed over here. The sleek look, see all the nice intricate details right there. Looking at the torso section, this looks awesome. Very tiny little silver bits, looking really cool just throughout. I just really dig that a lot. Looking at the back over here. Yeah, nice details, man. Just love these details. He doesn't have any little flappy pieces that move up over here around the hips, but he does have the hinge, which I'll show off a little bit more in a second. But yeah, the legs look really good on this. He does have this huge knee joint thing going on, which I've seen before on figure arts. And I have to say, I'm not a big fan of that, but at the same time, they did sculpt it out very, very well. So I can't complain too much. I like how the calves look on this too. That looks really good. I like that he has die cast feet which is awesome, I love that they did that. So yeah, some really cool things. They do have a little bit of a paint chip right there. That bothers me a little bit. Then looking at the bottom of the feet, you can see he has the whole pegs and you can see the sculpted detail. And here you can really see the difference between the feet. Even if it's, I turn it around like that, you can still see that this one's a little bit brighter than that one right over there. Looking right over here, you can see we get a little bit more of a darker red than on this side. It's very subtle, but it's just noticeable to me, you know, so I have to mention it. And here's one last look at the back of the figure. Looking really cool. I think
think this is pretty awesome. So this guy has really cool articulation. You can move the head up quite a bit. I like that. And you can move that neck joint to get him looking up even more so. So that's cool. Very cool for flight posing. And then you can get him looking all the way down. You can even get his chin buried into his own neck like that, which is a little weird. So you don't really want to do that. It looks strange. You get side to side movement over here, of course. And then you also get some great neck pivot. Again, you get that huge gap though. That still bothers me some. Uh, you get these flaps right over here on his shoulders that do allow for more articulation and you get some nice armpit movement in here so you can move it forward and back and shift it up and down at the armpit the shoulder can move all the way outward that much you can get it moving all the way forward you get a bicep swivel you get this elbow joint right over there that bends in that much and you get side to side movement over here and it's on a ball joint so you can move it any which way you also get this diaphragm joint that moves side to side that much and it crunches forward and it crunches back he does have a waist joint over here which i didn't think worked at first but it does. Uh, so right away, you can just shift it a little bit, but you kind of have to have go through this moment of fear that I went through where I shifted it to the side even more so, and it took a little bit of more force to do it. But you can see right there, you get a lot more waist movement. I thought I was going to scratch the paint right there, but no. So no paint scratching or anything from doing that just came out fine. So I'm very happy about that waist joint. You also get crunching at the waist too, so it does move forward that much, and you can move it back, so that's cool. You get this hinge joint right over here at the hips where you can shift the legs downward I really like that so you get that movement you also get outward movement over there and he can kick forward that much you get an upper thigh swivel you get this huge double jointed knee over there and then you get ankles that can move down they can move up a little bit you can rotate them side to side you do get ankle pivot this little flappy piece over his toes just popped off on me for the very first time but that hinges up and down to allow the toe articulation which is tricky to move because you have these die cast feet and I think the hinge is just very tight on there but there you go, now you get the toe articulation. I think it's really worth mentioning how well sculpted and painted these joints are. You know, they're all hidden parts over here and they're sculpted out very nicely. So this figure stands just a little under six and a half inches tall. And then here's our Mark 45 Iron Man next to the SH Figure Arts Age of Ultron Captain America and the Figure Arts Age of Ultron Big Time Letdown Hulk. Now we've been spoiled by this Captain America figure. This thing is just amazing. We do not see the same kind of treatment on this Mark 45 though. I don't see anything innovative or really new about this guy as far as accessories go. Then here's Mark 45 Iron Man next to the Figma Mark 7 and then we have Hasbro's Mark 43. So yeah, I do wish this guy was a little bit taller. This is still going to be my favorite 6 inch Iron Man figure. Unfortunately though, I don't know what happened over here, but on this chest area you can see you get these weird little dots going on. So if you have this Figma figure, let me know what's going on. But I just noticed this now and then I'm kind of bummed out about that. And then here's Mark 45 next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. <sighs> Look, I know this conversation is going to end with me getting shot in the face or something, but I've just always been wanting to ask you that I don't know why you destroyed all your armor in Iron Man 3 when all you're going to do is just <laughs> So again, I think this is a great figure, just not as good as SH Figure Arts AOU Captain America, but still really, really good, and I just really love this design. I'm just a big fan of it. Gripes aside, I really like it, and I recommend it if you can find them for a decent price. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes over here for more shark in your face. Big thanks, patrons. Your guys' help is always much appreciated. And then follow my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Goes right back on, but this... Ooh, 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 ooh.